Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and again this year for 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why like we have many, many others. Today I'm sure this 2007 Honda Zest. It's got 96,000 kilometers on it, which is approaching 60,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have Honda Lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on our website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving in Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's East Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the financing. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Honda Zest is a four passenger vehicle in the yellow plate category, so the smaller category. Road tax per year is going to be 3,000 yen, which is about 25 bucks right now with the current exchange rate. Oh, actually, 23. Actually, probably around 20. Okay. Uh, road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that till next April or May. Now, you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down and reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more, up to you. This one does not have the rain guards to show you. However, you would, uh, still and always want to get yourself a, a good windshield visor, okay? You have to keep this dash as cool as possible, especially in the summertime. Uh, so they do make uh, dash covers for it if you want, or if you want to go uh, less expensive, get yourself a nice large uh, uh, beach towel or a large bath towel. Uh, make sure it's light in color, and then you just drape that over there, and it's going to help uh, cool or keep the dash cool. Okay. So with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this baby started. All right. Sneak this in here. 95,972 on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights, that blue one right there, that's your temperature gauge. So as we blue when the engine's cool, it's gonna remain on, that's normal. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna go away when the engine warms up, that's normal. And then it's gonna be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout, look out for that because that will not be normal, okay? Then you have the two right in the middle here. The one on the left, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then, let's turn that ready off. All right, Troy. But then the one in the middle is your emergency brake. This one is a kick type. So when you kick it, disengage it, goes away. You kick it again, comes right back on. Other than that, it's very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, especially if it's red, please pull over and find out what it is. Take the necessary action, okay? Uh, off the left here, on top of the dash, you do have a compartment for storage. Your radio, this one, does not have a rear camera. Your uh, shifter, air conditioning controls, just a little spot here for uh, maybe your ID card or something, uh, power outlet, and a little more, uh, a little compartment for whatever you need it for. Above the glove box, you have this compartment for storage, and then the glove box itself. That is your red rope flare. And then um, a little bit of storage on each door panel. <coughs> Excuse me, door panel. All right. That is your passenger space over there. I already showed you the uh, the red rope flare inside the uh, glove box. Then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back. Now I've said it before on Hondas, I don't know what it is, but I wish this seat would move back a couple more inches. When I go back there, you're gonna see it has the space for it to move back, but I'm not the engineer that designed this thing. But a lot of the, a lot of the uh, Hondas, I'm right where I am. But again, I would be a little more comfortable if I could slide this, uh, slide this back an inch or two. Two or three inches would be great, all right? Um, it does have uh, an armrest here and two cup holders in the middle. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level. Just see a sliver past the, the windshield wipers, not much. Now, I like to take this time to show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non accident car from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars. And some dealers will try to discredit this auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. But it's graded four from the auction with a B and B on the exterior interior. So it's a really good grade, very clean car. That's gonna be up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you can see that for yourself. 
and we'll also help you decipher it if need be. So I'll show you a couple other things before we go to the uh, back seat. So you just have this little little space here for coins or whatnot on the other side as well. We do have a cup holder right there. And then uh, this guy is going to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, you want to see the street a little better, that's where you're going to do it. But then it does have this shelf underneath the steering wheel. Again, whatever you need it for. And then on the door panel, you have your uh, mirror, uh, window, and door lock controls. This controls all the door locks when, it, when the door is closed, okay? So lock and then unlock, all right? And then down here, you have your hood release. And then please don't forget, on the floor here, you have your gas cover release, all right? So let's uh, turn this baby off and let's head to the back seat. So look at all the space. It makes no sense why they can't move the seat back a little bit more. So look at this. I'm, I'm that two to three inches away, two, about two inches away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, nothing as far as storage on either the seat back, but you do have uh, a cup holder on each door panel. Now the only thing with this on the Zest, and you, it might get a little, uh, be a little getting used to, you can recline them if need be, but you see, let me see, see where this is? This is like uh, towards the, the middle of my back, I can feel the headrest. So I don't know why they have it so low, but that's just how it is, okay? So here's your rear space. Then for these seats, as I said, you can recline them, okay? Just by pulling up on those tabs, but you can also put them down. And when you pull this tab, yeah, you gotta move those two forward a little bit. And these will go down on top of themselves and then they're going to go in the footwell okay so it'll go all the way down and this whole space is going to be flat okay so it is quite impressive with those and then when you move these seats back you might lose an inch so that's what i'm saying i don't know why they don't make them uh, uh slide back a little bit further but that's just the way it is let's go to the front here show you the engine compartment they're going to wrap this video up so there's a the powerhouse, 660cc engine, nice and clean. So there you go, 2007 Honda Zest. Uh, 96,000 kilometers on it, again, about 60,000 miles. Military price is down to 4,300. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4,100. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 4,100 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be our American insurance requirement. Whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about and how we're gonna assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Just one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best of Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash out rate, or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Don't forget, uh, I'm sorry, uh, please like and subscribe. And as always, uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.